when we posted this recipe for batik cake, so many of you commented the different variations around the world. So for all of you South Africans out there, this one's for you. There seem to be many names for this dessert in South Africa, including fudge, brownies, smudge, and munchies, but they all seem to be about the same. We're starting with Marie or Maria biscuits, broken into small pieces. We learned the hard way that some of you are very passionate about the name of these biscuits, but I'm here to tell you that they're all the same, just with a different name depending on the country. Melt 250 grams of butter in a large pot or wok, then add powdered sugar and cocoa powder. The mixture will be quite thick, but don't worry, just remove from the heat, then in a separate bowl combine one fresh pasteurized egg with one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I emphasize pasteurized because this egg isn't getting cooked, so if you're squeamish about raw eggs, this might not be the recipe for you. Add to the still warm chocolate mixture, then stir until it's smooth and velvety. Finally, mix in the biscuit pieces until they're fully coated in the chocolate, then transfer to a greased and lined square baking dish. Smooth at the top, then chill in the fridge for one hour or until firm. Once it's chilled, use a palette knife or butter knife to separate the fudge from the sides and the bottom of the dish. Then you should be able to flip it over and easily pull the dish away. These are an easy sweet treat with so many variations around the world. Which country's version should we try next? Check out these other great videos and subscribe for more amazing recipes.